Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's two minute message. So I wanna encourage you to keep Jesus and Christianity weird. Now, I mean that in the sense, like I live in Vancouver, Washington, just north of Portland, Oregon, where the slogan of Portland, Oregon is keep Portland weird. Also, if you're from Austin, Texas, you know people, they wanna keep Austin weird. And the idea is really that they wanna keep it authentic to who they are. And they, they don't wanna conform, like where I live, Portland doesn't want to conform to other cities. They want to be exactly who they are, as the TV show Portlandia said, that the dream of the 90s is still alive in Portland. I'm here to tell you, that dream is still alive. And But the idea is, is that we want to keep Jesus weird. We want to keep Christianity weird because too often people want to pasteurize Jesus. They want to fit Jesus into this cultural moment. We want to use Jesus as a prop to be able to prop up cultural values that Jesus never had. And I think oftentimes, because we want Jesus to be conformed to our culture so that we can say he's on our side, we end up taking away the uniqueness of who Jesus is. And I wanna encourage you to, to let Jesus stay weird. Jesus says things that don't make a lot of sense to us. Didn't in his day, don't in our day. But the reason we wanna keep Jesus weird is because Jesus is not in the affirmation business telling, him, telling us that everything we do he loves and he affirms us. Jesus is in the transformation business. And Jesus transforms us by confronting us with the things that we believe or the ways that we roll with a better way, a more excellent way to live. And it's important that we allow Jesus to be challenging, to be some, doing things that we don't expect. We don't want to pass us and we want to keep Jesus weird so that he can transform our lives, that our lives may bear fruit and bring glory to God. So that's what we do. First, I want you to share this message because listen, so many people, they, they, they want Jesus to be conformed into their own image or our culture wants Jesus to be uh, conformed into, uh, into, they want Jesus to be like our culture. And in the comment section, let's talk about the weirdest things that Jesus said and how that is challenging your life and your walk with him. And God bless you today.